to what extent is an agent, the agent of a principal, to what extent is the agent liable to third parties with whom they interact? Well, to start with, uh, individuals are always uh, liable for their own torts. Uh, so in that situation, while the agent may bind the principal uh, in contract uh, and not be liable to third parties, the, the agent will always be liable for his or her torts to third parties, even if the principal is liable as well. Now, in the context of contracts and potentially binding the principal in contract, well, if an agent represents a principal and discloses that uh, relationship to a third party or, or a third party already knows about that agency relationship. When entering, when the agent enters into a contract with that third party on behalf of the principal, that binds the principal to that contract and the agent, him or herself, is not bound to the contract and is not liable on that contract. Like I say, as long as it's ex disclosed to um, and or known to the third party. Now, if the agent for some reason ex exceeds their express authority to enter into a contract, they enter into a contract that uh, they did not have a th express authority from the principal to enter into. Well, that contract still could bind the principal, okay? Um, if the agent had implied authority or uh, inherent authority from the position itself, uh, then the third party relies on that, uh, then it could again bind the principal because the concept is that the principal should have limited this ability or should have informed third parties not to rely uh, on, on this or should have informed them that this authority is not implied in the, in the position that the agent holds. So in that way, the principal could still be bound by this uh, implied uh, or inherent authority uh, of the agent in a given position. Now, if the agent goes beyond their express authority and binds the principal in contract, the principal may be able to sue and recover from the agent. Now, this is less likely when the agent is an employee and the employee doesn't have resources or means to um, compensate the principal in that way. So, uh, but nonetheless, the agent still could be liable when they exceed their express authority uh, and bind the, the principal in contract. Now, if the uh, agent uh, goes beyond express authority and uh, enters into a contract with the third party and does not disclose uh, the agency relationship in that way, again, that could give rise to uh, a liability upon the agent, him or herself, and not bind the principal because there is no implied or apparent authority and it was beyond the express authority. So the agent again could be liable to the third party for going beyond his or her express authority and acting in a way that doesn't bind the principal.